Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, anyways. All right, let's talk about this character select screen. The character select screen is has been over <laughs> I I have I have made so many videos on this character select screen. I'm starting to get annoyed with myself to be completely honest with you with the character select screen. But hey, why not? We'll bring more attention to it. More more clouds equals more more smiles. And uh, we'll go ahead and pick out another character select screen made by Mick. And Mick did a fantastic job at a, a character select screen that I feel like I would call my ideal character select screen. This character select screen in particular takes the new aesthetic, takes the new look of BB Tag, and puts it into the way that we kind of wanted to, to put it, if that makes sense. So we have, of course the the gamepad because they put it in an etc column all by itself it looks mad ugly they put the button settings they put the game settings <clears throat> where you can configure right then and there uh random select don't know oh it's right here right up here random select uh there's a color preset down here just like always the presets are are there too and then he's kind of categorized them in a way where you have like the ruby characters right here the miscellaneous characters here, which says hearts, the two blitz tank characters and Yumi. And then you got persona over there. You got blaze blue all covering up the section. It's really nice looking. It's pretty organized once you look into it. By the way, pay no attention to this. That's something because that's Mick's favorite character. And this is just his wet dream right now. All right. So pay no attention to this because this is not a thing. So anyways, one of the things I love about this character select screen is that you can look at everything, of course. And one of the things I don't like just looking at it, it's very small, but of one thing I don't like, of course, is where you're going to be putting in all the other characters that come in, uh, which I think he has actually put some thought into that. And he made space just in case there's some other characters coming into the game. So, for example, if there's another Ruby character, you just push these characters up and then you put the Ruby character here. Or if there's another Persona character here, another Blaze Blue character there, another Undernight character there. And then you can reorganize however you see fits. But that's the thing. That's it. You only have room for maybe one more pack. And that's about and that's that. But this is probably the best thing that we got as of right now as a really good character select screen. Now, he also has made other pictures representing what would happen if you didn't have all these characters bam you get the locked away screen which i actually kind of like to be completely honest with you uh i probably want to look like this but something indicating that they're not unlocked yet because you haven't gotten the full version or you haven't gotten all the packs now of course if you get the special edition you don't have to worry about that but if you're getting the vanilla version oh by the way you should just just get rid of you should just like uh highlight yang and blake because they're free dlc they might as well be they might as well be in the roster right here this is i know there's 20 characters initially but the two of them are free dlc so technically these two should be should not be locked away um uh however i do like the fact that he kind of locked away uh, all the characters you have to you have to get the passes for it's kind of a cool uh, little design they probably want to look exactly like this i'd love it I love if we get it all spread out. All the characters are on there so you can take a look. You immediately, as soon as I see this thing, a couple characters pop out. Number one is going to be Neo. Neo popped out immediately. I'm like, yes, that's a character I kind of want to play. She looks dope. Another character that I would look at is probably Carmine because he's looking kind of weird. And Nika because she's winking at me. And then all of a sudden you got can't come down here and you're like, what the hell is this snake looking dude? And who the hell is looking at me like she wants to, you know, do things to me. <laughs> in ways that I would let her. And then there's, there's a cat. That's cool. All that stuff is just initial reactions is what you would get. And then what the hell is this thing? You know? Anyways, point I'm trying to make is this is a good way to be able to showcase off all the characters and the designs just by straight up looking at them. And I like how he took the designs of the diamonds, which is what we have right now. And he put the logos, which is what I was actually... Uh, wanting to do from the first place is whenever you pick or go over your character the logo for that character appears so you know exactly which franchise they're from this is a perfect representation for that and then of course this is what it looks like before you select it and before they go into the diamond 
And this is after you select, and they go into the diamond to make room for the for the for the two slots. It looks great, man. I think it looks great. Um, I do like how the current character select screen also like completely highlights this entire section depending on what your character does because that's something I always wanted to. But you know, it's not super perfect. He made this in like one day. So nonetheless, it looks great. I, I'm talking about just the formation of it and the diamond aesthetic. Looks great. I think it looks awesome. Will we get this at all? No, because Arc System doesn't want to change it. And we're not gonna get what we want. So guess what? We're just gonna turn it into a meme. That's it. <laughs> gonna turn it into a meme. That's all I'm gonna do. Might as well, you know, do something with with all this. <laughs> With this worry about the character select screen um but yeah good job this is a great character select screen it won't change <laughs> it won't change i promise